Hi. Annyeong haseyo. Huh? What did you say? I said annyeong haseyo, which means hello in Korean. How do you know Korean? I'm a big fan of K music and K drama. That is how I know. I heard about K drama, but K music? Don't ever heard about K pop? No. Okay. K-pop is a music genre originating in South Korea. It's not only music, but visual, Korean dance, everything is included. Oh, okay. I got it now. Yeah, BTS is a K-pop band. BTS? I heard about them. Who doesn't know BTS, man? Okay, let's hit it now. I'll tell you everything about it. Come on. Okay, tell me about that. First of all, the K-pop music genre started with the Kim Sisters. In 1950s, the Kim Sisters were a Korean-born pop music trio who spoke no English but achieved fame in the US by their soulful music performance. They were extraordinarily talented and styled. Eventually, they became the icons of Korean people and laid the seeds of today's K-pop stars. And after that, on 1970s, a folk rock singer and composer, Kim Min Ki, wrote a brief but yet sorrowful song called Morning Dew because of the anti-Asian hate crimes in the US. This song was the anthem of the youth pro-democracy movement during that time, and he used it as an activism, but eventually all his work got banned because of it. Uh -huh. And later on 1990s, a boy band called So Teji and Boys were immorals and that resembles the K-pop music and mega fandom we have today. They did their music by merging it with American style music. They coupled it with hip-hop choreography and that is how today's K-pop was born. They were the first ever K-pop group. Later, they started to train the talented people, the first generation of K-pop that ushered, a group called H.O.T. Formed around 1997, is considered to be the first true K-pop idol group. They released a song called Candy, become a pop hit in Korea, and later so many bands got emerged like Sex Key, a boy band, as says a girl group. I really love their song Just In Love. After that, on 1999, God, which stands for Bro Overdose, was a boy band debuted, and they started the second generation of K-pop. They were famous at that time. Then TVXQ, a pop duo, in 2003, Super Junior in 2005, and the Big Bang. Oh my God, my favorite Bang Bang Bang. Oh yeah, <laughs> which God debuted, and the third generation, BTS, EXO, Seventeen. God7, Twice, Blackpink, Red Velvet, Mamamoo, Stray Kids, huh, the K-pop idols who are dominating the entire pop industry now. They are not only handsome and beautiful, but talented, skillful, working hard, perfectly trained fillers. Then BTS? BTS, the world's biggest boy band made a huge influence over the music lovers of India. They debuted in 2013. After a long time of hard work, they're constantly entering on the Billboard charts now. And then making record every single day. And also, they were the first ever K-pop musicians who were nominated for the Grammy. Wow, great. Their fandom is called ARMY. Even me, my first ever K-pop song was a BT song. I do. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, I cannot help with that. That song motivated me a lot to achieve my goals. And that is how I ended to the K-pop world. Now, I'm a die-hard fan. But how can I understand the language? It's Korean, right? I don't understand the language, but I'm really enjoying it. I just feel the emotions of the song. Music has no barriers, right? Yeah. Even, we also have our own K-pop idol, Priyanka Majunda from Azen. Yeah. Indian South Korean making friendship though. That is how we can know more about Korean culture, K-pop, K-drama, and so on. Thanks to Korean Cultural Center India. South Korea too, Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center at Seoul. Oh, wow, that's great. I'm also feeling really sad that I never tried to know all these things. Thank you so much. Oh, don't say that. It's not late. Come on. Let me show you something really amazing. Please show me.